Hello. So I'm making this video today um, about abusive relationships, mental abuse and emotional abuse, not like physical abuse because I haven't gone through that. Um, it's taken me a good week to be able to record this because I've been going through a lot, but I come out a lot stronger in the end. So at the end of the day, it's okay. Um, so I'm going to start off with a little bit of a backstory. I'll give you my story and I'll let you know, you know, signs to look out for and what I've learned from all of this. So about a year ago, I met this kid and we, we were talking for a few months and we started dating after like three months of us talking. There was a lot of really just negative bad signs, but I didn't listen to them because I'm dumb. <sighs> um, okay, so I'll begin with uh, everything on his Facebook was hidden. Everything he was tagged in on Facebook was hidden. And that's just sketchy. I mean, why? what are you hiding from the world and why? So that was one thing I thought was really sketchy. Um, let's see. When we became a couple... I don't think it was public on his Facebook at all. Um, didn't say anywhere on his Instagram bio. Never posted pictures of us. I'd post pictures of us, but like they wouldn't even come up on his Facebook. Um, a, a red flag that I've seen is just like jealousy and suspicion. Like he would be suspicious of me and be like, are you talking to boys and all this stuff? And I'm just like, no. Um, he was very controlling, okay? It started off like he was a different person. So that's how I got myself into this mess. When we had first started talking, he made me feel like I was the most beautiful person on the planet, inside and out, not just how I look. I mean, like, as a person. He would go on rants about how great I am and kind and charming and all this stuff and so you know I did like really like him because I, f I genuinely felt like I finally found somebody that was nice to me because I've dated so many assholes <sighs> well this motherfucker was the worst one anyway so uh yeah he was very controlling um but I told myself he was worth it because I'd never been with anybody that seemed like they really cared about me. So the jealousy thing was like something I didn't like, but I dealt with it because like I said, I thought he was worth it. He was not. Okay, this motherfucker. Anyways, it started off like that and slowly he would make his way into controlling me by asking me if I was talking to other boys, going through my phone, even though I've never go through his phone because I'm respectful like that. Even though I kind of wish I did, I'd probably have found some bullshit that I could have ended things a lot sooner. But anyway, I'd go through my phone. He started telling, like, he would, when we first started talking, he would tell me how much he, like, loved everything about me. And then later on, he would start telling me that I was chubby and, like, he'd make me cry about it. And then he'd say he'd help me lose weight because that's what I wanted. So he was helping me. That was, that was his reason, helping me. But it was, he was trying to fucking help himself. And... By doing so, um, by making me lose weight so he likes the way I look more and so I hate myself more and he can feel more in control of me. So those are the two things. Um, it had nothing to do with me. It was all about him and his happiness and I don't know why I let it get like that. Like whenever I was unhappy and I would try to talk to him about it, he would just like avoid it or yeah, he would just avoid it. Like if I were to send him like five messages he would like answer like the most vague fucking question and just completely ignore the rest. And if I would talk to him in person, he would just always deny it. So like, I really had no way of getting through to him. And because I loved him or thought I loved him, I just let it go. So that's the number one thing. Don't fucking let things go. Communicate. And he would be the one telling me to communicate. But when I try to motherfucking communicate with him, he would just fucking ignore me. Like it was annoying. <gasps> So that's the second thing. People can say a whole motherfucking lot, but what they do and their actions, that is what actually matters. And this boy sure out a way with words, and I believed every single one of them. 
that was my stupid ass mistake and I paid for it in the end because this yeah this pretty much has fucked me up a lot um but it's okay anyways um if somebody promises you a lot of things but they don't follow through with them you should really take that into consideration that they're probably a liar and really good with words they know what to say to get you to shut up and then they just keep walking over you until you say something about it again then they avoid it and then they just keep doing it and they'll just keep fucking you over they want to see how far they can push you literally that's that's what it is they're fucked up fucked up people so on top of that um i would always be getting told that i was forgetful or this or that and things that just made me me not like things that I did like oh Kelsey like stop talking to this person or well yeah he was telling me to stop talking to guys but like I didn't do anything sketchy like I've never flirted with a single fucking guy that we were dating the ever like since we were dating because I loved him I had no reason to and I thought that it was the same way but it wasn't it turns out that he was cheating on me with his ex-girlfriend and like it's it was almost unbelievable at first because like the way he would be around me and like the things that I had heard and seen with screenshots were like completely a different person and it scared me a lot. I mean like I just didn't understand it. It was I've never I've never dealt with like such a liar before. It was really scary. Um but yeah, we broke up a few times because he was losing attraction to me or lost feelings, even though like two days before he'd be telling me how much he loved me and wanted to marry me. Fucking psycho. So, yeah. Um, so he would just continuously do this shit to me. And well, I messaged his ex-girlfriend one day and I found out all the truth. And after that, I wouldn't talk to him for months. And he would just randomly hit me up because this motherfucker will... Go out of his way to see that you're happy, and that's when he'll try to fucking get you back into his web of disgustingness. That's not even a word, and I just made it up. <sighs> so annoyed. Um, <laughs> I really am. I'm really motherfucking annoyed right now by this. I, whatever, you know, I'm not annoyed. I'm not annoyed. It's okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna continue. My makeup looks really bad. Okay, anyway, anyway, anyway. Back to the fucking story. So it turns out this nigga been cheating on me with his motherfucking ex-girlfriend, this other girl, and I could not believe it. I was just like, what the fuck? And months later, he came back into my life, and he still was dating her, and I don't know why the fuck I just... I guess I just missed him so much, even though he did this bullshit to me. I was just so stupid, and he knew that, and he knew how much I loved him, so he talked to me while he was dating this girl and then dumped her and then like went back to me and then he would have us like fighting with each other all the time and every time I'd like tell him I messaged her he'd be like don't talk to her and I don't know why like I did stop talking to her I should have just found out some things but I was scared and like I think that's that's one of the main things with cheaters is like a lot of people I think they can see it coming but like they don't want to believe it because you love that person you're like no they wouldn't do that to me they wouldn't do that to me but honestly people really fucking suck I've never cheated on anybody in my life and I never will I just break up with them if I really don't like them and I'm really sorry too I feel really bad like this kid has no fucking remorse and the worst part is when I found out about all this bullshit like him cheating on me he had nothing to say he didn't even fucking respond to me it was like it was like just a fucking slap in the face, not a, not a sorry, nothing. And then he has the nerve to come to my house uh, two days later, crying, putting on this sad music, literally made himself cry because he's a sociopath and doesn't have real feelings. So he, he told me himself before that he's a really good actor. So that's just, you know, that's a red flag right there. Um, so he made himself cry and like, made me pinky promise that he wasn't talking to anybody which is a fucking lie because I found out the next day that he uh he hooked up with his ex-girlfriend while I was still dating him right before he broke up with me so I'm really calm about this now honestly like but I've been so first I was upset and, and just disgusted now I'm just like so annoyed this is so annoying I've just never had some bullshit like this happen and especially like just somebody with no remorse i mean he is a tr the definition of a true sociopath 
100%. So these are just, that's, this is my relationship. It was absolutely fucked up. And I know now I didn't deserve it. No matter what I did, he'd always make me feel like shit for it, even if it had nothing to do with him. But if I ever fucking mentioned anything he did that was actually fucked up, he just wouldn't acknowledge it. And that's fucked up, dude. This entire thing was literally just a fuck with my head. And I know that because every time one of us, me, his ex-girlfriend, one of the girls he cheated on with, um, start to be happy and move on, that's when he comes back. And he does the same thing over and over. Pinky, promise I'm not talking to anyone. Fuck you. Fuck off. Go fucking die, honestly. Like, just fuck you. So... It's okay, though, because you know what? After this, like, I was so scared to lose him. That was my whole thing. I'd wake up with anxiety every single day. I'd shake, and I'd cry in the morning for my dreams, and I was just scared to lose him, and it made me realize maybe I never really loved him. Maybe I just feared losing him because once I had my final straw and I realized the kind of person he is, I'm not sad at all. Zero sadness whatsoever. I don't miss him. I don't want him back. I mean, why would I? That's just disgusting. Why would I want somebody that lies that much with no fucking feelings? Fuck that. So after I realized like life's not that bad, I realized I don't need anybody. Um, I've always been scared to be alone, but right now I'm like the opposite where I don't really want to talk to anybody because like after this, it just made me so just... Ugh, I'm good. I'm I'm good. I really I don't need this bullshit in my life. Um, but my biggest lesson to you is to tell yourself like, are you truly happy? Are you just living for memories? Are you just trying to chase after things that aren't aren't the way that they once were? Because the reality of it is, this is now, and what what you're dealing with is now. So if you're not happy with how somebody's treating you, and they don't even want to try to fix it or even listen to you fuck that person they don't care about you they don't love you simple as that you might tell yourself oh no they love me you, they might look you in the eyes every single day and tell you how much they want to marry you like a, I almost said his name like my ex did but they don't love you I know for a fact I was never loved but I just wanted things to work out so what I've learned is love you can't have love from fear. You cannot fear somebody you love. Otherwise, you're always just going to be worrying about the future. I mean, you're never going to truly enjoy the person. And do you really enjoy the person or are you just scared to be alone? Maybe I was just scared to be alone. Now that I am alone, I realize it's it's not bad at all. So just tell yourself that if this person is making you feel like shit more often than they're making you feel good, then it's just not worth it. And you might think that you'll never find somebody that makes you feel that way because I never have feelings for anybody. But you will. I promise you. Life gets better. Don't let shitty, abusive people bring you down. I don't get why they are the way they are. I've never been like that. I've always just wanted to make people happy. But some people just, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with them, but my suggestion is just to stay away. I wouldn't even try to help them because people like that can only help themselves. I tried to help him for a year, and all that left me with was just being fucked over. So yeah, I'm okay now. I'm a lot happier, and I hope any of you guys um, use this video just for your own help if you need it. Adios.